Good morning, everyone. I'm Amy from Amy's Acrylic Artistry. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so very much for being here today. So you may have seen my little video that I put out about what to do when your resin doesn't cure. So I made a huge mistake with my last bowl, resin bowl, vase set that I was working on. I was rushing and measured my measured my resin wrong. I usually do, I need 12 ounces. Each of these cups is three ounces. Two of these cups of each, so two resin, two hardeners. I did two resin, did I do two resin and one hardener? No, I did two hardener and one resin. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And realized right away, but I'd already poured and it was too late. So I let it sit, tried to take it out of the mold. It was super sticky, I had no idea what to do. So I was like, well, let's just throw it in the freezer. Let's see if that works. And as I had it in the freezer, I was looking up on YouTube what to do. And that was exactly what they recommended was sticking it in the freezer. But of course my molds are big. I didn't have a whole lot of freezer space, but I got it in there, left it overnight and was able to pop it out. And I'm doing the exact same way that I did the one that didn't work. Um, I have, painted in some pigments on the flower petals that you'll see because I'm going to put that that even though I've already done that clip that clip will be next so you'll see that first and then we're going to re pour over top of the black and white vase now I'm lucky it's a little bit tacky but it actually doesn't look too bad and I was able to transfer it off of the cup from yesterday onto a new cup. I thought it's going to be so sticky, but it actually worked out okay. So it's level on the cup. My mold is ready. When you make mistakes, it's always a learning experience because I will never do that again. I will always make sure that I don't rush and that I measure my resin correctly. Oh my goodness. And so I'm going to lay down some alcohol inks and we're going to do a clear coat on the vase and we're going to see what happens with the mold and then we'll make a bowl out of it so super excited hopefully this will work I mean I'm pretty sure it'll work because I've done it already twice successfully but I definitely had a big learning experience yesterday so let's get pouring okay so here I am painting in some pigments onto the flower petals you can see I have just a nice little fine brush. This is just a cheap one from the dollar store. It, the pigments wash out super easy after you're finished. And I'm just going along following the pattern as well as the circle in the middle. It's really, really easy. Um, and I do come in at the end and clean up um, just some of the overspill. This pigment will stay in place, which is super cool once you pour the clear resin over top. So here I'm just doing the little circles in the middle of the flower. I really, really love this technique and will definitely be trying it again. I am going to be pouring over top of my black and white vase that I did a pour over on. I will link that video at the end so you can see it. Um, so yeah, so there I am just taking a Q-tip with some alcohol, running it along the petals and in and around those circles in the middle just to clean up some of that um, fallout and um, not that it matters really honestly there was a lot of pigment that did stay in the um, mold that I could not completely get out just you know do you I'm I tend to be super picky but gave up at the end of trying to get all of it out and it looks absolutely fabulous at the end so here I am just laying down some of my alcohol inks um, I'm doing blues and greens with this copper one of the other things I learned with this technique with laying down the alcohol inks and then pouring the clear resin over top is that your alcohol inks will dry. They don't stay wet for super long. And I think if I do this again, I might add in the alcohol inks out at the outer edges as my resin is being poured um, over the vase because 
for the resin to spread out to the edges takes just a little bit of time but enough time that the alcohol ink did dry in some spots you know which is just a different kind of pattern instead of it spreading and blending I had a couple of spots where I still had some lines so here I am with my vase I'm just pouring the clear over top one of the things I did learn with this technique is that I tend to pour heavy on my dominant side and I had a lot of resin on one side of the mold and one side, so one side was super thick, one side was super thin and more so that um, it leveling out did not work. There just wasn't enough volume and um, there was enough volume to fill the mold but um, yeah as you can see I have that one side right there closest to the camera where it ends up a whole lot thinner and you'll see when I mold the bowl exactly what I mean so I've just sped this up because this this part of the project just takes a little bit longer which is okay I was just popping a couple of big air bubbles I had there with the end of my um, paintbrush and so here, after six hours, I am demolding my resin. And you'll see, you'll definitely notice that one side is a whole lot thinner than the other side. <laughs> but what can you do? Like I said, it's a learning experience. And if you don't make mistakes, you don't learn. And it just, it is what it is. I really love how this turned out, but you can see there that some of the alcohol inks are definitely dried in lines, but you know, whatever, it's just kind of a cool little pattern. And um, once again, I had some difficulties getting the resin into the bowl, um, mainly because I have little hands, but secondly, because one side was super thick and one side was super thin, um, but again, it just is what it is. Took me two tries to get it centered how I wanted because of course I wanted that circular center part in the middle as much as I possibly could. And um, take care everyone, bye.